Hello friends of Tony's Little Garden. Welcome to another video where today we're going to do another experiment at home. We're going to germinate a cherry moya. I'll explain step by step what you need to do to get it to germinate and have little cherry moya trees in your home or garden or to give as gifts. Let's get started. The cherry moya, which is a very appreciated tropical fruit, is actually very tasty. If you've eaten it and you're watching this video because you have a bunch of seeds, you already know that this fruit is really tasty. It has a ton of seeds, so we prepare it to eat and in the process we get our seeds, which as you know we'll have a lot. So I'll go ahead and remove the seeds and then we'll continue step by step. The rest is for eating. As you can see, from just one half we've already got all these seeds. Now I'll remove the rest. I wanted to show you this brown one compared to a black one. Smaller as you can see, this brown one won't germinate, it's not developed, so we'll discard it. Now, it's very important to put them in water. Grab a jar, a glass, whatever you want. We add water. And with this, we'll leave them for a whole day, so that they'll rehydrate. It's very important that they rehydrate and as we can check, any seeds that float will remove because they won't germinate either. So, we'll leave it for a day and continue the next day. Also, I forgot we leave them in water to clean them in case we left any pulp. This way it will be more effective for germinating and the seeds won't rot. So, double benefit. 1. We rehydrate the seed and 2. We clean off any leftover pulp. We now have our seeds well cleaned. I ended up putting them in this container because in the others, I wasn't sure if any that were going to float were staying at the bottom and not floating. So we have removed the ones that failed and we now have our seeds. The next step is to prepare the seeds before germinating. We'll prepare them in such a way that they germinate faster. Otherwise, they'll take a very long time to germinate. So with some pliers, we place them in the middle and apply a little pressure. What we want to do is break the shell a little, like this, pa, uh, yeah, perfect, just to the sassy, yeah? uh, just open it, like we did with the walnuts or with the almonds, I can leave some videos here for you to check out, but you can watch them on my YouTube channel, let's open it a bit, see, it's open, let's see if it focuses, it's open, perfect, alright, I'm going to stay here opening, our seeds to continue with the process, we're going to use this reused plastic tray from the supermarket, we've made some holes in it. It's true that our plants will have very deep roots and this isn't ideal, but we're only going to use it for germination. Afterwards, we'll have to transplant them. So we fill it with good substrate. I've added compost. As you can see, there are still some remains. It isn't well sifted, but it's fine. It's no big deal. We add a substrate. Shaya. Some peat, you can buy a bag of peat as well, and that would be more than enough. Let's place our seeds. As I said, it's very interesting to open them first, because they will take less time to germinate. If we don't do that, they'll still germinate, but it will take longer. We leave them a little separated. Since we have a bunch of seeds, the more we plant, the higher the chance of success. This is going to be a temporary seed bed, then we will have to transplant them to a deeper pot. As I said, they're going to develop pretty deep roots. So, little by little, one tray, we have a bunch. I think we should plant them all like this. Important, we could have buried them a bit, but I prefer to do it this way. I leave them flat and we cover them with substrate, just a bit. We don't need to cover them too much, but enough to cover them well. We should respect the rule of covering them with two to three times their size. Remove any weeds that have come up. Mm. And this should be enough. They should be well covered. We know they need the darkness and good temperatures to germinate. Perfect. As I said, temporary seedbed. Look, a worm, this one goes back to its place. Next, we give it a good watering so that all the substrate is nicely moistened. Watering these plants is crucial. We need to make sure the substrate doesn't dry out. All right, important, so that germination isn't interrupted. An interesting and above all very important step 
To maintain the moisture and the right temperatures in our tray is to put cling film. We put cling film on it and make it nice and tight. Then I stick it or put a rubber band on it. Like this we cover it well and with a knife we make small holes so it can breathe. It's very important that it breathes a little too. With this we achieve what we wanted. Good temperatures and constant humidity. See? A rubber band and perfect. Now we need to put it in a warm place next to a window where it gets sunlight so it stays warm. And perfect. Now we wait. A month has passed and I'll show you how it's progressing. Here it is and one is already sprouting. Another one here. Another one is sprouting over here too. I've already removed the cling film so they don't rot from humidity but we have them here. Let's help a bit and remove the shell with our nails. We open it very carefully and now it's free. Let me show you. Look at the little leaves. They are there. The future leaves. Let's do the same with the other one with our nails. Slowly without forcing. If it doesn't come off we wait a bit. Now it's open. Uh, do you see it there? Oops. Do you see it there? So now it's perfect like this. Now we just have to keep waiting. 15 more days have passed and look at the ones we helped open. They are already showing their little leaves. This one not yet. We haven't helped this one but it's sprouting so we will help it. I just want to continue with the process. Here's another one that's sprouting. So let's transplant these two first. We are going to transplant these two to an intermediate pot. It won't be the final pot. I'm going to wait for it to develop a bit more before putting it in a deep pot. This will be the pot where it will stay for a year before being planted in its final location. But I'll leave it for a month, month and a half in these pots to have them more controlled in the greenhouse. So, with a spoon. A spoon? A fork? Uh, we're going to try to dig it far away from the plant and leverage it a bit like this. Let's try not to damage the roots at all. Uh, perfect. Look at the size of this root already, huh? Be very careful. Like this and here we have it. I'll continue with the other one later. But in the meantime, we're going to fill a pot with a mix of good substrate and compost, or worm castings. In my case, it's compost, but it could be worm castings. We're going to fill it all the way to the top with a lot of soil. And without compacting too much, and now simply with a finger, a pen, whatever we want, we'll make a slight and small hole. We put our little plant in, trying to keep it as straight as possible. Like this. You'll see how now, being alone in a pot, just for it, it's going to develop much better. A bit more soil and it's done. We already have our two little trees and we're going to give them a good watering. We're going to settle all the substrate and let them keep growing and developing. It's really exciting to see a seed germinate. There, let it filter through. We put a saucer underneath to remove the excess moisture and done. Now we'll leave them, as always, in a protected place where they get direct sunlight. A week has passed and let me show you the progress of our cherry moya. It's truly incredible. We're going to keep letting this one grow and this one too. And then we'll transplant them. But the experiment, or rather the germination, has been a success. Here I have uh, those some mulberry cuttings, some lavender cuttings that I will show in upcoming videos, but everything is going great. Look, they have roots. Honestly, sand works really well for propagation. I'll leave a video here for you to check out. It's been about a month and look how our cherry moyas are growing. We are going to leave them here for a while so the stem gets thicker and then we'll transplant them. 
You've already seen how simple it is to germinate and grow our own cherry moyas. An ideal experiment to do at home, especially with kids. It's a bit slow, but we'll really enjoy the result. So for all the garden enthusiasts out there, I encourage you to try it at home. I hope you liked the video, but most importantly, I hope it was useful. See you next Thursday on the Huertina de Tony channel. See you later.